Hey everyone, JT here, back with another video. Today I want to talk about solar diverters. They're a popular addition to most solar and battery setups. They take the excess power you generate and they use that to heat your hot water. But the question I have today is, do they make sense when used in combination with a heat pump? So today, I have a rather large solar array, certainly for a three bedroom house. I have a large battery array and I produce way more power than we actually need. So therefore, a lot of that power gets diverted either into hot water, into our cars, or exported to the grid. And come summertime, we have an abundance of power and sometimes we don't know what to do with it all. And this is where the solar diverter comes in because for the entire summer last year, we used it to heat our hot water. We, even though we had a gas boiler at the time, it was turned off and we had so much spare energy that we had constant hot water in the house. Now the gas boiler's gone and we've got the heat pump, does it make sense to continue to use that solar diverter? So let me give you a hypothetical scenario. Let's say we've got one kilowatt hour of energy that's going spare needs to be used up. The batteries are full, the cars are either in use or not plugged in. So we have two choices. We can either export it and make a little bit of money, or we can use it to heat our hot water. Now, if we export it with the current rates, we're gonna get about 15 pence of credit onto our account. Or we can heat the hot water and in theory, save the heat pump from doing the job. But this is where the conundrum comes in. Our heat pump is configured so that if the temperature in our tank drops by 10 degrees below the 43 degree threshold that we have, it will automatically kick in and start heating hot water. This is so whenever anybody wants to have hot water in the house, there is hot water available. So the likelihood is when we actually have the spare energy, the water's already hot. Let me give you another example. Let's assume I've just had a shower I like to spend a bit of time in the shower. The temperature in the tank has dropped by 15 degrees and the heat pump kicks in. So it's doing its thing, it's bringing the temperature back up to 43 degrees. But now we've got spare energy. Should we use that through the solar diverter to heat the hot water? It will shorten the amount of time that the heat pump needs to run. But if we're using the eddy, the solar diverter, it will give us one kilowatt of heat for every one kilowatt of energy we put in. That's assuming it's almost 100% efficient. But if we use the heat pump to heat the water, we get three kilowatts of heat for every one kilowatt of electricity that we put in. So it makes much more sense to turn the solar diverter off, use that one kilowatt of heat to power the heat pump to heat the hot water. If we use the diverter, we're really doing ourselves a disservice because we're not getting the maximum return for that one kilowatt of energy. I think the answer is, we're gonna turn the solar diverter off this summer. It's better to export it, make a little bit of money, than it is to turn it into heat through the immersion heater. So that's the question I have for you guys. If you have a solar diverter and a heat pump, do you use them in conjunction with each other? Do you turn off the solar diverter? I think in my case, the answer is going to be yes, but with one exception. I have my solar diverter set up as the booster for my heat pump. Now, we don't really need to boost the hot water. Uh, the temperature of 43 degrees is fine. Everybody likes that kind of temperature for a shower in our house. But once a week, we bump the tank temperature up to 65 degrees. And this is to kill off any Legionella. So if there's anything growing in the tank in the warm water, it will get killed off once a week when this kicks in. Other than that, I don't see the hot water diverter getting much use this summer at all. Let me know what you think in the comments because I'm struggling a little bit with this one. In my head, it says you shouldn't use it. It's a, a more inefficient way to use that electricity. But it's an expensive piece of technology. It has served us well for a few years and I don't wanna just throw it away. So is it good to keep it there as a backup? Is it maybe a good idea to use it, like I say, once a week, just to uh, heat the tank up to a higher temperature than we would normally get from the heat pump? 
but it doesn't seem to make sense to me to be using it to heat water even when we've got excess power. I might have got this completely wrong. If I have, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. If I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.